Okay, so the question is traffic lights at three different signals change after 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and 60 seconds, respectively. If they'll change, they all change simultane simultaneously at 11.27 a.m. At what time they will change simultaneously? Okay, so the next time that they will change again uh, will be their least common multiple. Okay, next time whatever time they will be together will be their least common multiple. So in this particular question, we are supposed to find out the least common multiple of these intervals. First interval is 30 seconds. Another interval is 45 seconds. And the last interval is 60. So we are supposed to find out the LCM of 30, 45 and 60. At that point of time, they will again come together. Okay, whenever that particular time will be passed, that many seconds will be passed, they will come again together. So let us find out the LCM of 30, 45, and 60. There is a simple method available for finding out the LCM. We can write all the numbers like that. Okay, then we can do it. This is the basic basic particular uh, method of doing the LCM that is taught in very early classes. So let us divide the numbers. So we can divide some numbers by two. So if we do that, this is going to be 15. This is 45. This is 30. We can again divide it by 2. So it is 15 again. This is 45 and this is 15. Now, no number is divisible by 2. So we need to divide it by 3. So 3, 5, ja 15, 3, 15, ja 45 and 3, 5, ja 15 again. Now we can again divide it by 3 because 3, now 3 cannot cut 5. So we'll have to just write 5 as it is. 3 can cut 15 by 5. So we can write 5 here and 3 cannot cut this 5. So we'll just write 5 again. Now all these three numbers are simply cut by 5. So the last is 1, 1, 1. So this is where we end when we receive all ones. This is where we end. So the LCM of 30, 45, 60 is going to be the product of all these divisors. So LCM is going to be how much? Let us product this 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. So if we do the product, this is going to be 2 to the 4, 3 to 12, 3 to 36, 5 to 180. So the LCM of all these numbers is 180 and the unit of these three numbers were seconds. So after 180 seconds from the time they met together, they will again be changing simultaneously. That's what is the language. So 180 second is needed to be added in 11.27 a.m. We know that 180 second is nothing but 180 second divided by 60. That is three minutes. Okay. So there in 180 seconds, there are three minutes. So we just need to add this three minutes to our 11.27 a.m. And at that point of time, they will again be changing simultaneously. So 11.27 plus 3 minutes is nothing but 11.30. That is available in option number A and becomes the right answer. Okay. LCM of different numbers is 210. Which of the following cannot be their HCF? Okay. So there is a simple theory that LCM, uh, if the LCM is 210, what is their HCF? So LCM is LCM of any numbers is always, there's a theory like that, LCM of any numbers is always divisible. LCM of any numbers is always divisible by its HCF. Okay. So whichever number in this particular question is not, uh, it cannot divide our 210 will be that number which cannot be HCF because HCF is the one which should always divide the LCM. So out of these options that are given to us, whichever number is not able to divide our LCM, that is 210, will be our answer. So if we check it carefully, uh, 14 can also divide 210, 70 can also divide 210, 42 can also divide 210, and 5 can also divide 210. The only number that cannot divide 210 is 16. So that is the right answer. The HCF cannot be 16 because 16 cannot divide 210. Zero. So answer is 16 cannot be the HCF. Now, which is the greatest number that when divided by 615, 1133 and 1688 leaves the same remainder in each case. Okay. For these type of question, there is a method involved. Whenever you are supposed to find out the greatest number. So you are actually supposed to find out the HCF. Okay. So the greatest number which will be divided by these three numbers for these type of question, we just need, need to find out the HCF of these three numbers. Okay. And for the finding out the HCF of these three numbers, we should first find out the differences between any, if there are three numbers, so we need to find out any two differences. Okay. So for finding out any two differences, we can find out like 1333, three, three, rather 1133 one, three, three minus 615. Six, okay. 
and the another difference can be anything any any number can any two number can be taken together to find out the difference let me take 1688 minus 1133 so we have taken two numbers 1688 minus 1133 and 1133 minus 615 okay so how much is the difference coming the first difference is coming as 518 other difference is coming as 555 so I just need to find out the HCF of these two numbers that is 518 and 555 and that will be my right answer for this particular question. So finding out the HCF of these two numbers what I'm supposed to do is okay HCF of 518 and 555 I'm go going by the basic method for that I need to first of all factorize 518 if I factorize 518 518 can be can, can be factorized as if we, first of all it can be divided by 2 and if you divide it by 2 the number remains 259. Then this 259 can again be divided by 7. Okay. This 259 can be again be divided by 7. And the number remains 37. So the last number is 37. So these are the factor. These are the prime factorization of 518. 2 into 7 into 37. Let us do the prime factorization of triple 5. Okay. So triple 5 can be cut first of all by 3. Then uh, it remains. Uh, then it can be cut by 5. And the last number that you can cut, be, cut by is 37. So these are the factors of 518 and 555. Now for finding out the highest common factor, we are, we are supposed to see the common factor first. There is no common factor other than 37 in this. So that has to be the highest common factor only. So this is the common factor between these two. So the HCF of these two numbers is nothing but 37. Okay. So 37 is should be the, our right answer of the question, which is available in option number A becomes the right answer for us. Okay, the HCF of two numbers is 11 and their LCM is 7700. If one number is 275, find the second number. So there is a formula. The formula says HCF into LCM of any two numbers is actually equal to product of these number is equal to product of numbers. Okay, so this is the formula. So we have all the three things so we can find out quickly. HCF is 11. LCM is 7700 is equal to product of these number first number is 275 let's say our second number is x so this is how we can make use of the formula for finding out the x value we need to divide things like that 11 into 7700 divided by 275 if we divide these two things then we are getting the x value as 308 okay dividing this thing we are getting the x value as 300 so that is the second number of our question answer is 308 available in option number b n is the right answer now, the smallest three-digit number, which number completely divisible by 12, 18, 24 will be. Okay. So, smallest, when we are looking for smallest, then obviously we have to look for least common multiple. Okay. We can match it like that. Smallest is matched with least. So, whenever we are looking for smallest of any numbers, then we are actually looking for the least common multiple. He says the, the least common multiple of 12, 18, and 24 which should be multiplied by, which should be divisible by 12 as a divisibly divisible by, rather which should be a three digit number. So first of all, we will be able to find out the LCM of these 12, 18 and 24. So first of all, what is the thing that we are doing? We are finding out LCM of, we are try, trying to find out LCM of 12, 18 and 24. Okay. So for that, we need to factorize them. Okay. That is the common method of factorizing. Let us write them 12, 18 and 24. Okay, let us try to divide them as done in the previous question as well. Each number can be divided by 2, 2, 6, ja, 2, 9, ja, and 2 into 12. Now we can div again divide by 2. So it's 2, 3, ja, 2, 9, and 2, 6, ja. Can again divide by 2, 2, 3, 9, and 2, 3, ja. Now the numbers can be divided by 3, 3, 1, ja, 3, 3, 3, ja, 9, and 3, 1, ja, 3. Now again, it can be divided by one more time as 3. So then I'll get one one one. So I'll stop. Now LCM of these number is product of these two these all numbers. How what is the product? It's two two ja four, four two ja eight, eight three ja twenty four, and twenty four three ja seventy two. So the LCM of these all numbers that are in front of us is nothing but seventy two. So LCM is seventy two. But he has asked for the smallest three digit number. So seventy two is a two digit number. So the next number in the series will be seventy two into two. That is the twice. Table of 72 will keep on working. So we have to find out the three digit number 72 into 2 when we did it was found to be 144 which is the three digit number. So 144 is our answer which is the uh, LCM of 12, 18 and 24 as well and the smallest three digit number as well. So that is the answer option number B 144. Now 
which is the greatest number which when divided by 967, 1580 and 2806 leaves the same remainder in each case. Okay. For, so for this very question, again, we have done this type of question earlier also. We are just supposed to find out any two difference. When there are three numbers given, we are just supposed to find out any two differences. So we'll subtract 1580 minus 967. We'll make one number like that. And then we can subtract anything. So we can subtract 2806 minus 1580. There where we'll get the second number and HCF of this one and two will be our answer. Okay, that's what is the that's what is the uh, way of solving these type of problems. Okay, now let us find out. Let us find out the difference. So we are supposed to find out HCF of the two differences. One difference is one five eight zero minus nine sixty seven. Okay, and another difference is two eight zero six minus one five eight zero. Okay, which is nothing but the differences are going to be HCF. So we are supposed to find out HCF of the first difference comes out to be 613. Second difference comes out to be 1226. So these are the two differences. So we are supposed to find out the HCF of these two. For, for finding out the HCF, we do the basic prime factorization. If you factorize 1226, okay, if you factorize 1226, it is nothing but 2 into 613. Okay, and what is 613? 613 is nothing but 1 into 613. So what is common between these two uh, factors? These two numbers factors is nothing but 613. So 613 itself becomes the highest common factor. 613 is the only common factor also and obviously the highest also. So 613 is the right answer, which is the HCF of the three numbers given. So which is available in option number A and becomes the right answer for us, 613. Now, he says... LCM of two numbers is 48. The numbers are in the ratio 2 is to 3. The sum of numbers is. Okay. So for this type of question, what we can do is numbers are in the ratio 2 is to 3. Let's, let us assume the numbers. First, let the numbers are 2x and 3x. We have assumed the number as 2x and 3x. He said the LCM is 48. So LCM, we're supposed to find out LCM of 2x and 3x. Okay. So LCM of 2x and 3x, had they been the proper numbers, we would have gone by the method but they are not the proper numbers. So we are not supposed to find out like that. So we can just take LCM of 2x and 3x as nothing but the product. So LCM of 2x and 3x is nothing but going to be 6x because 6x can be divisible by both 2x and 3x. So 6x is the LCM. And as they said, the LCM is 48. So we can equate the 6x as 48, which gives me the x value as 8. So using this x value as 8, I can find out both of my numbers, 2x and 3x. So the first number is 2 into 8, that is 16. Another number is 8 into 3, that is 24. So these are the two numbers which are uh, which are the actual numbers whose LCM was uh, 48, 16 and 24 are the numbers. And he has asked for the sum of numbers. So let us just add. So if you add 16 plus 24, you're going to get it as 40. So that is the right answer, 40 available in option number. BN is the right answer. The sum of two numbers is 80 and their HCF and LCM are 16 and 96 respectively. Okay, sum of two numbers is 80. So let us assume the numbers first. We can assume the numbers like that. So let the numbers are, let us assume the numbers are X and Y. Okay, so clearly he said the sum of two numbers is 80. So we can write like X plus Y is equal to 80. This is the first thing that we can write. Another thing that he has given is HCF and LCM are 16 and 96. The sum of reciprocal of the two numbers are required. Okay. So we can bring the formula in the scene. What is the formula? Product of numbers is equal to HCF into LCM. So the numbers that we have are X and Y and their product will be X into Y or XY is equal to HCF into LCM. HCF value is 16 into LCM value is 96. So clearly this equation gives us, let us assume this as first, let us assume this as second. So the second equation gives us xy is equal to 16 into 96. So these are the two things that we have got. The x plus y value is 80 and x into y value is uh, 16 into 96. Okay, which is nothing but we can multiply this also. But the, if we don't multiply, then also it, it, there will not be any problem. The first thing he has said, the, the, the thing that he's asking for is the sum of reciprocal of the two numbers. So first of all, find out the reciprocal. Reciprocal of the first number x is 1 by x. Reciprocal of the another number y is 1 by y and he is asking for the sum. So this is what he is asking for. Sum of reciprocal of two numbers is nothing but 1 upon x plus 1 upon y. If we simplify this 1 upon x plus 1 upon y by taking the LCM as xy, we are receiving x plus y. So actually we are supposed to find out x plus y over xy. Okay. 
x plus y is already given to us in equation number one. x y is already there with us in equation number two. So we just need to put the two both values here. If we do that, the the thing that we are looking for is x plus y is eighty divided by x into y is sixteen into ninety six. This is what we are supposed to find out. If we solve this further, sixteen can cut eighty by five. So we are getting five by ninety six. Okay, so this is what the thing we were looking for, 5 by 96 and becomes the right answer for us, which is available in option number D. Now, let N be the greatest number that will divide 1305, 4665 and 6905, leaving the same remainder in each case, then find the sum of the digits of N. Okay, so we have done these type of questions in which there are three numbers given. What we do in these type of question is we find out the differences. Then using those differences, we can find out the HCF. So let us find out the various differences. Okay, he has said N is the HCF. N is the HCF. Okay, for finding out the HCF, we are supposed to find out the any find out the common differences between these three numbers. So let us find out the differences. So the first difference can be taken, take it as 4665 minus 1305. This can be the first difference taken. Also, the other difference can be taken as 6805 minus 4665 similarly next difference can be taken as 6905 this is 680 not 6605 this is 6905 6905 minus 1305 so these are the differences that, that can be taken in the picture and we have to suppose to find out the HCF of that so what are these differences coming the first differences is coming as uh, 6, 4665 minus 1305 the difference is coming as uh, 3360 the second difference that is coming is 3360 is the first difference. Second difference is coming as 2240. And the last difference that is coming between these two is nothing but 5600. So see, these are the three differences coming. So we are supposed to find out the HCF of all these three. For finding out the HCF, th these are very long numbers. So there can be another way of finding out the HCF. We can try to divide the, the uh, we can try to divide, uh, Try to use the divisor as the smallest number, which is 2240, and try to divide the second largest number. So, what we are doing, 2240 divides 3360. Let us try to divide it like that. If you do that, if you take the table of 2240, so it will only go one time and it will come here 2240. And if you subtract, this is coming out to be 1120. Then we can again divide. Uh, our 2240 by 1120. If you do that, this is completely divisible two times. So clearly the 1120 is the HCF of 2240 and 3360. This is one method. But we have got three numbers. So we have to take care of the third number as well. So clearly uh, till now 1120 is dividing both 3360 and 2240. So seems to be the HCF. Now let us check for the third number also. Can 1120 divide 5600 also? Let us try to divide and check. Okay, if we if we divide it like that, so we can find out yes, it going it is going five times. If we if we multiply by five, eleven twenty, it is completely divisible. So clearly, eleven twenty is the HCF that we were looking for. The HCF is nothing but eleven twenty. Okay, now what he has asked in the question, the find the sum of the digits n. So we are supposed to find out the sum of digits of one one six zero. So that is nothing but one plus one plus six plus zero, rather two plus zero. 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 0, that is nothing but going to be 4. The sum of digits of 1, 1, 2, 0, the HCF is going to be 4 and becomes the right answer for us. Available in option number D and is the right answer. Now, LCM of two numbers is 168 and their HCF is 4. Find the difference between these numbers if their sum is 52. So, first of all, we'll assume that the numbers are X and Y. So they have said the sum is 52. So we'll write like x plus y is 52. This is the first thing that we're going to write. Then he said the LCM of two numbers is 168 and HCF is 4. So we know a formula. What is that formula? Product of two numbers is equal to HCF into LCM. We know this formula. Okay. We have the numbers as x and y. So product is going to be xy is equal to HCF into LCM. HCF LCM is 168 into HCF is 4. So this is going to be the product. Okay. Now this is what is available with me. XY is available and also uh, X plus Y is available. I am supposed to find out the difference. So I am supposed to find out X minus Y. So clearly there cannot be a direct way. 
we can do it by substitution also, but that will be too lengthy. So what we can do, we can make use of the formula of x minus y's whole square. What is x minus y whole square is x plus y's whole square minus 4xy. We can make use of this formula of x minus y whole square can be found out by x minus y's whole square x plus y is whole square minus 4xy. Why I'm using this formula? Because x plus y is also available with me and xy is also available with me. So I will be able to find out x minus y in a shorter way. So if I put it like that, then how much it is going to be? Let us find out. I'm supposed to find out x minus y whole square. x plus y is also already available with me. That is 52 square minus 4 into xy. xy is 168 into 4. That is available with me. 168 into Four. Now let us uh, try to solve this. Okay, how much is that? X minus Y is whole square is going to be 2704. That is the square of 52 minus product of 4 into 4 into 168 is coming out to be 2688. If we solve this further, if we solve this further, X minus Y is whole square is coming out to be finally as 16, which gives me the X minus Y value as simply 4. So that is the right answer. They had asked for the difference between these two numbers and the difference comes out to be Four and becomes the right answer for me. Okay, so the question says a wholesaler dealer has to store 194 kg, 291 kg, and 388 kg of three variety of, uh, varieties of dal in a minimum number of containers without mixing them. Find the number of containers required by him. So as the word minimum is there, so that means the container should, the, there should be a single size container that should be able to contain all these weights, 194 also, 291 also, and 388 also. So that single size weight, that, that single size container that should contain all three uh, weights, sh should that should be that number which should be able to divide these all numbers. Then only it will be completely and appropriately able to contain those weights. So what is that divisor? So we are looking for a divisor which can divide all three numbers. So clearly we are looking for the factor. Divisor is nothing but factor. So clearly we are looking for the HCF of these three numbers. So HCF of these three numbers can be found out by there is a simple method of finding out the HCF of these three numbers. That is by finding out the differences. So we are supposed to find out 194, 291 and 388's HCF. So finding out the HCF, we clearly find out the two differences. So difference between first two numbers is 97. And the difference of the another two number is by chance also 97. So clearly the HCF of these two numbers is nothing but 97. These three numbers is nothing but 97. So the container size should be 97 kg and then it will be completely able to contain all these numbers. But they have not asked for the container size. They are asked for find the number of containers required by them. How many number of containers are required? So for that, for need, for knowing that, for first we need to know that 194 kg is holded by 97 kg's container. So how many such containers will be required? So each container holds 97 kg. Then how many containers will be able to hold 194 kg? That's what we need to know. So how many containers will be able to hold 194 kg? For that thing, we need to divide 194 by 97. So whatever is the answer, that many containers of 97 kg each will be required to hold 194. Similarly, how many containers of 97 kg will be required to hold 291? That will be able to find out by dividing 291 by 97. Similarly, how many containers required to hold 388 will be 388 divided by 97. So if we find out the divide. Uh, the quotients of them, this is 2, this is 3, and the last one is 4. So if we add them together, there are 9 containers required. So there will be 9 containers required. They will be able to hold all these 3 weights properly. So the right answer is C9. Next, the least multiple of 7, which leaves a remainder of 4 when divided by 6, 9, 15, and 18. So these type of question, we can find out the things by a particular method. So least multiple of 7, which are which leaves a remainder of 4 when divided by 6, 9, 15, and 18 is simply that this particular answer can be found out by LCM of 6, 9, 15, and 18 because the word least is involved. So we are finding out least common multiple. LCM of 6, 9, 15, and 18, okay, and we'll multiply this by K, and then we divide, then we add this by, which leaves a remainder of 4, so we'll add the 4 to it finally, okay, this is the particular equation that we are supposed to solve, now, first of all, we're going to find out LCM of 6, 9, 15, and 18, 
In that process, let us find out a 6, 9, 15 and 18 LCM. Let us do it. Okay, we can divide all the numbers by 2. Not all the number, but some of the numbers by 2. So, it's going to be 2, 3, 15 and 9. Then we can divide the things by 3. So, 3, 1, 3, 3, 3, 9, 3, 5, 15, 3, 3, 9. Then we can again divide things by 3. So, it's going to be 1, 1, 5 and 1. Then 5 can be used. So, get it 1, 1, 1, 1 all. So, the LCM of these numbers is the product of 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. So, product is coming out to be 90. 2, 3, 6, 3, 18, 5, 90. So, the clearly the LCM value comes out to be 90. Now, to find out such number which leaves a remainder of 4 and multiple of 7 as well, we go by a series. That series is the number will be of, should be of the form of 90, K, 90 into k plus 4. Okay. So, we will keep on putting up the k equal to 1, k equal to 2 and so on the time we find out the least multiple of 7. So, if we put 90, k equal to 1, the first value number comes out to be 94, which is not a multiple of 7. Okay. So, this is not the right answer. If we do k equal to 2, then the number comes out to be 184. That is also not multiple of 7. So, in the same way, if we go to 90 into 4, so 90 into 4, if we do, 90 into 4 gives us 360. And if we add plus 4 to it, the number becomes 364. So, 364 is a multiple of 7. So that becomes the right answer available in option number A is the right answer. Now they say LCM of two numbers is 4600 and their HCF is 10. If one of the number is 200, then the other number is. So we have a simple formula for such kind of situation. The formula is product of two numbers is always equal to the product of their HCF and LCM. So, this is the formula. So, first number he has given as 200. Let us assume the second number is x is equal to HCF into LCM. HCF value is 10. LCM value is 4600. Okay. So, we can find out x using this. So, x can be found out by bringing the 200 in the denominator on the other side. If we cut down the things like that. Okay. Then 2 can cut this 46 by 23 and 23 into 10 is nothing but 230. So clearly the second number that the question is asking for is nothing but 230 which is available in option number D and is the right answer. Now the next question is GCD of 1.08, 0 0.36 and 0 0.9. So G this GCD is nothing new but the full form of this GCD is greatest common divisor that is a simple form full form and which is nothing but equal to your hcf that is highest common factor see if you can clearly see that divisor is nothing but factor greatest is nothing but highest and common is the word common so gcd is nothing but equal to hcf so clearly we have to find out the hc of these three numbers that is 1.08 0.36 and 0.9. So, for finding out the uh, HCF of decimal numbers, first we need to convert those numbers into the non-decimal numbers, 0.36 and 0.9. To convert these numbers into non-decimal numbers, we can multiply each number by 100. If we do that, the first number becomes 108. Next number becomes 36 and next number becomes 90. So, we are actually about to find out the HCF of 108, 36 and 90. For finding, for doing that, we need to factorize these numbers first. So, the factor of 110 can be done by 2. Then, if we divide it by 2, it comes 54. Then, again, divide by 2, it comes uh, 27. Then, we again divide by 3, it comes 9. Then, 3 and then 3 again. So, these are the, the factorization of 108. If we divide 36, 36, that is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. That is what is 36. If we do 90, then it is 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 that is nothing but your 90 so we have to find out the highest common factor so let us see how many numbers are commonly there so this 2 is there in all of them so we can write for hcf we can write 2 into then this 3 is also there 3 here also and 3 here also so 2 into 3 and these are the two numbers that are only common so the clearly 2 into 3 and there is 3 and there is one more 3 one more 3 can also be found out common. So, th 2 3s are common. So, 2 into 3 into 3, that is nothing but 18. So, 18 is the common factor, highest common factor of 108, 36 and 90. So, what should be the co highest common factor of the decimal numbers? So, we, we found out these numbers by multiplying by 100. So, we have to divide the, uh, the HC of 18 by 100 which gives us 0.18. So, the HCF of these decimal number is 18 by 100. That is nothing but 0.18. It is available in option number B and is the right answer. Now, he says, 
the lcm of two numbers is a and b is 72 the lcm of two numbers a and b is 72 where 72 is greater than a is greater than b the biggest possible value of a and b is so for doing these type of question we can go by the option hitting we can see the options and then decide what is going to be the right answer so just look at it so as he says 72 uh, is the lcm of these two numbers so clearly the number should divide 72 which is happening in all the options c 36 and 24 rather the 72 should be the common multiple of these two numbers. So 72 should be divisible. So 36 and 24 both can divide. 72 uh, can divide, but 48 cannot divide. So option B is discarded here itself because 48 cannot divide 72. Moreover, he has said that 72 has to be greater than A. But if we take the first number A as 72, then 72 is equal to 72, not greater than 72. So second also is, option is also discarded. Now we are left out with three options like this. And in each of the options, the 72 is divisible completely by both the numbers. So we have to find out the biggest possible value. So biggest possible value out of these is nothing but 36 and 24 only. So that is going, going to be the right answer. 36 is A. A is nothing but 36, the greatest value. And B is nothing but the 24, the greatest value. They are The LCM of 36 and 24 is obviously 72. And it matches with the condition given here. So the right answer becomes 70. Uh, right answer becomes option number A, 36 and 24. Now find the least number which when divided by 7 and 12, least the remainder of 2 and 5 respectively. For these type of question, what we can do is we can start by searching the first number. So the first divisor is 7. So let us see the multiples of 7. Okay. Which when divided by 7 leaves a remainder 2. So the, the first such multiple can be 9. See, if we divide 7 by 9, there will be a remainder of 2 left out. Because 7, 7, 1 just 7 and 2 will be the remainder left out. So first such number can be 9. Another such number can be uh, 16. Because if we divide 7 by 16, the remainder of 2 will again appear. Similarly, we can go like that 23. We can go like that 30. We can go like that uh, 37 and such such that we can find out those numbers so these are the numbers which when divided by 7 every time a remainder of 2 will appear now let us find out uh, he is asked for that there should be this should be the common number and the other condition given is and divided by 7 leaves a remainder 2 divided by 12 leaves a remainder of 5 these number there should be such number out of them which is divided by uh, when 12 should leave, be leaving the remainder 5 so let us keep on writing these numbers more 37 then next number in the series can be 44 because uh, uh, 42 is divisible next number can be 51 because 50 uh, 49 is divisible next number can be 58 because 56 is divisible similarly 65 72 and these can be the numbers so out of these numbers that are there which which when divided by 7 are leaving remainder 2 which is that number which is smallest also and when divided by 12 will leave a remainder of 5 also obviously the 9 is not that one. 16 divides, if you divide 16 by 12, remainder of 4 will come. So that is also not the number. If you divide 23 by 60, uh, remainder of 11 will come. That is not also good. If you divide 30 by uh, 12, a remainder of 6 will come. That is not also required. If you divide 37 by 12, the remainder of uh, 1 will be coming, which is also not required. 44, then uh, a remainder of 8 will come. That is also not required. So if we go like that, we can find out the number as 65 so if we divide 65 by 12 obviously we are getting the remainder as 5 because 12 5 is 60 is completely divisible so 65 is that number which is matching with the 7's condition also and similarly at the same time is matching with the 12th 12th condition also so 65 is going to be the right answer for us which is available in option number b and becomes the right answer now the lcm of two multiples of 4 is 5876 if one of the number is 52, the other number is, okay? LCM of two multiples of four is 5, 8, 7, 6. So let us assume the other number, okay? Let the other number is, see? First number is, uh, the, the both the numbers should be multiple of four. So let the other number is nothing but four four x. Let the other number assume as four x because it is a multiple of four. So we can assume it like four x. Now this four x is the other number and the, they say the two multiples, uh, LCM of two multiples of four is five and seven. See, one number is 52. So we can clearly say the LCM of 52 and four is going to be the LCM as five and seven, six. So four X is the first number into the other number is 52. So LCM is what? Five, eight, seven, six. And HCF of 52 and four X. 
HCF of 52 and 4x is going to be 4 only because both the numbers are multiple of 4. So the HCF is 4. Which formula we have make, make, made use here? With the formula is product of two numbers is equal to their LCM into HCF. Clearly, both the numbers are multiple of 4. So HCF is 4 and LCM is also given. So this formula is made use here. So if we solve this equation for x, we are receiving the x as 113. Okay, so that's what he had asked for. What is the other number? The other number is 11. Uh, the, he had asked for the other number, which is uh, the, the first number we had assumed to be 52. The other number we had assumed to be 4x. So clearly the other number has to be 113. That is available in option number A and is the right answer. Which of the following is the greatest common divisor? Greatest common divisor is nothing but HCF, highest common factor. He is asking for finding out the HCF of 1170 and 102. For that thing, we need to do the prime factorization. Let us do prime factorization of 1170. It can be, we can divide it by 2. Then uh, how much is left out? Uh, 2, 5, just 10 and 2, 5, just 10 and 1, 2, 8, just 16. So it's 5, 8 and then 5. 5, 8, 5 is left out. Then 5 at 5 is divisible by 5 only. So if we divide 5 at by 5, it, well, we receive 117. So what is 117 divisible by? 117 can be divisible by 3. That is 39, 3, 117. And then 39 can be divisible by 3. So that is 13, 3, ja. So it, at last we left out with 30. So these are the factors of 1170. Let us do the factor of 102. 102 can be divisible by 2. If we divide 102 by 2, we, we are left out with 50. Uh, we are left out with 51, then 51 can be divided by 3, 17, 3 is 51, and at last 17 will come out. So these are the factors. What are the greatest common divisors or the highest common factor? Let us find out the common factor. 1 is 2. So this is 2 coming here into, what else can we find out as common? We can find out common as 3. So 3 can come here. So that these are the only factors common. So the greatest common factor or the greatest common divisor becomes 6, available in option number C and is the right answer. Okay, find the greatest common factor that divides 3095, 1550 and 6790 exactly. Okay, clearly we are supposed to find out the uh, HCF of these three numbers. So for finding out the HCF, see what we are supposed to find out. We are supposed to find out HCF of 3095 and HCF of 51550 and 6790. Clearly we are supposed to find out the HCF of these three numbers. Okay, for finding out the HCF, we are always in a condition to find out the uh, any two common differences. So let us subtract. One subtraction can be 3095 minus 1550. If you subtract like this, this is going to be 5, this is going to be 4, this is going to be 15. So one difference is between these two is 1545. Okay, let us find out the other difference that can be found out between these two numbers. Okay, the numbers are 6790 and minus 1550. If you subtract, what are we left out with? This is 0, this is 4, this is 2, and this is 5. So other number is 5240. So these are the two numbers that we get. Okay, we are just supposed to find out the HCF of these two numbers only, and that will be the right answer. For finding out the HCF, obviously, we have to do the factorization. Okay, if we do the factorization, okay, let us do the factorization for 1545. Okay, 1545 is getting factorized. So we can obviously not divide by 2, so we can divide it by 3. 3, 5, 15, and 3, 15. 45. So this is 5 and 5. Again, we have to divide it by 3, but I think 3 cannot cut it. 3, 1, ja, 3, 2, 3, 7. No, 3 cannot cut it. So we have to divide it by 5. If we divide it by 5, it's coming out to be 1, 0, 1. Okay. So we can leave it like that also. 3, 5, and 1, 0, 1. Okay. So because 1, 0, 1 seems to be the prime number. So the factors are 3 into 5 into 1, 0, 1. These are the factors of 15, 45. Let us find out the factor of 5, 2, 4, 0. 5, 2, 4, 0. Obviously, it can be cut by 2, first of all. Okay. If we cut it by 2, this is coming out to be 26 and 20. Again, if we can cut it by 2, it comes out to be 13 into 10. Again, we can cut it by 2. It comes out to be 2, 6, 12, 1, 2, 5, 10, 1, and 2, 5, 10, 6, 55. Then, obviously, it can be cut it by 3. 3, 2, 6. No, we cannot cut it by 3. We have to cut it by 5. We, if we do that, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 3, 15, and 5, 1, 5. So, it is 131. Okay. So the last value is 131. Obviously, 131 is a prime number. So the, the factors are factors in this case are 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 131. These are the factors. We are supposed to find out the greatest common factors. So that is only visible as 5 in both the factorization. So that is what is the greatest common divisor. 
is five. So that is the right answer. The HCF of these three numbers is nothing but option available C as five is the right answer. Next, A, B, and C start running together in a particular direction from a particular point on on a twelve kilometer twelve kilometers long circular path. If the speeds of A, B, C are three kilometer per hour, seven kilometer per hour. 13 km per hour respectively then after how many hours will they meet together again so obviously we are, there is a clear case of LCM after how many hours they will meet again they, they will meet again at the LCM hours only okay so for that we need to find out the how much time will be taken by all of these ABC to complete the 12 km path okay we need to know the time required for ABC to complete the 12 km path okay the A is running with a speed of 3 km per hour okay 3 km per hour we are required to know the time distance covered is 12 km so how much is the time required time is equal to always distance over speed distance is 12 speed is 3 so it's coming out to be 4 hour for a similarly if you want to know for b the speed is 4 km per hour rather speed is 7 km per hour okay distance is again 12 km so time is equal to distance over speed so it's going to be 12 by 7 hour for B. This is for A. This is for B. Let us find out for C. The speed of C is 13 km per hour. Okay. Distance he has to cover is 12 km. The time is required to be known. Time is always distance over speed 12 by 13. So this these many hours will be required. So A can, completes the track in 4 hour. B completes the track in 12 by 7 hour. C completes the track in 12 by 13 hour. So we need to know when the next time they're going to meet. So obviously we are supposed to find out the least common multiple. We need to know the time when they will meet again together. So we need to find out the LCM of the hours. Okay. If you want to do it. Let us know the LCM of, we are supposed to find out the LCM of 4 by 1, LCM of 12 by 7, and LCM of 12 by 13. Okay. So, LC, how can we find out the LCM of fractional numbers? There's a formula for finding out the LCM of fractional number. LCM of fractional numbers can be found out by LCM of the numerators of all the numbers divided by HCF of the denominators of all the numbers. That is what is the formula. LCM of numerator is LCM of 4, 12, and 12. We have to find out the LCM of 4, 12, and 12. At the denominator side, we have to find out the HCF of 1, 7, and 13. So this is what we are supposed to find out. So if we find out that LCM of 4, 12, 12 is nothing but 4 itself. LCM of 4, 12, 12 is not 4. Rather, LCM of 4, 12, 12 is 12 itself. So the LCM is coming as 12. What about the HCO part? Highest common factor of 1, 7, 13 is obviously 1 only. So the highest common factor of LCM of all these numbers coming out to be 12. So obviously they're going to meet after 12 hours. They're going to meet after what time? They're going to meet after 12 hours. And that is option C and it's the right answer. Next. Find the number that when divided by 12, 16 and 24 leaves the same remainder of 3 in each case. Okay. For these type of questions, there's a direct method available. What we do? We find out the LCM of 12, 16 and 24 and leaves a remainder of 3. That is 3 is lesser. Okay. The 3 will be left out as it is. So the number is bigger than 3 of their LCM. So plus 3. Okay, this is what is the direct method that we can follow. So let us do it quickly. We are supposed to find out LCM of 12, 16, and 24. Let us do the prime factorization. Rather, we can do it uh, all together for finding out the LCM. Okay, we can start by cutting. See, all these numbers can be easily cut by 4. So let me start by 4. 4, 3, 0, 12. 4, 4, 0, 16. 4, 6, 0, 24. Then these numbers can be cut by 3 as well. So 3, 1, 0, 3. 4 as it is. And 3, 2, 0, 6. And then we can cut these numbers by 2. So it's going to be 1, 2, and 1 and again 2 will bring it 1 1 and 1 for me so clearly uh, the lcm is coming out to be 4 3 are 12 2 are 24 2 are 48 so lcm is 48 we have to do the plus 3 also because the remainder is also left out 48 plus 3 is giving me 51 so that clear answer is 51 whenever 51 will be divided by any of these divisors that is 12 16 24 there will be a remainder of 3 left out that is the right answer option number C51. Okay. The least number which when divided by this 48, 60, 70, 200, and 140 leaves 38, 40, 60 remainder respectively. So they just need to check the pattern. 
let's check the pattern see obviously these are our divisors okay the the first first side is of divisors the second side is of remainders if you see the pattern between divisor and remainder 48 and 38 there is a difference of 10 again if you see 60 and 50 there is a difference of 10 okay if you see 72 and 62 again difference of 10 and if you see 108 and 98 again difference of 10 so clearly there is a pattern 140 and 130 difference is 10 so whenever you receive such kind of pattern when the divisor and remainder have got a common difference so in these type of situation how can we find out the answer the in these type of situation the answer can be found out by lcm of all those divisors plus lcm of all those divisor and then at the very end we need to subtract the common difference into that so what is the pattern lcm of all divisors lcm of all divisors okay minus the common difference that is the pattern in such type of question where there's a pattern seen lcm of all divisors minus common difference this way we can find out that least number so let us quickly find out the lcm of all the divisors that is 48 60 72 108 140 let us find out the lcm of these numbers okay so clearly these numbers can be started by 2 so it's 24 30 36 2 ja 54 2 ja and 72 ja again all the numbers can be cut by 2 so it's 12 it's 15 it's 18 it's 27 it's 35 again the numbers can be cut by 2 2 6 j 12 15 not cut so as it is repeated 2 9 j 18 27 not cut as it is repeated 35 not cut as it is repeated now we can again run 2 2 3 j 6 and the rest of the numbers are not divisible by 2 so they are just repeated like that now there is no number which can be repeated by 2 so we have to begin with 3 3 1 j 3 3 5 j 15 3 3 j 9 3 9 j 27 and 35 is not cut so as it is repeated again we can run 3 1 time so it's going to be 1 5 as it is 1 3 35 as it is again we can run by 3 so it's 1 5 1 1 and 35 okay now we have to run it by 5 because the the numbers are not divisible by 3 anymore so if we go by 5 it's 1 1 1 1 and 7 and then we last and we'll go by 7 1 1 1 1 and 1 so the product of these two 2 2 ja 4 2 ja 8 2 ja 16 3 ja 48 uh, 48 3 ja uh, 144 144 3 ja then we are supposed to find out at the very end 144 into 3 into 5 into 7 that is what is going to be the lcm if you multiply them together the lcm is coming out to be 15120 but we are not just interested in the lcm there is a later part also lcm of all divisor minus common difference and the common difference is in the pattern is 10 so we have to do minus 10 also so the right answer becomes 15110 so that is the right answer 15110 which is available in option number c and becomes the right answer for us okay let's say above three numbers is 12 if three numbers are in the ratio one is two is to three then the numbers are okay so let us assume the number first let the numbers are x 2x and 3x as they are in the ratio one is to three to one is to two is to three so we have assumed them to be x 2x and 3x they said hcf of the three numbers is 12 so highest common factor of these numbers is 12 but if you see these number x 2x and 3x what is the common factor the uh, common factor is just x common factor of x let me write it here common factor of x 2x and 3x is nothing but x and they say the highest common factor is 12 so clearly x is nothing but 12 only okay the common factor is 12 only so if common factor x is 12 so we can find out the number first number is going to be 12 only another is 2x so 12 2 ja 24 another is 3x so 12 3 ja 36 the common the numbers are 12 24 and 36 which is available in option number b and becomes the right answer for us okay the greatest number which divides 17803988 having leaving remainder 4 in each case okay this is the question so in these type of question when the remainder of remainder is required when the, there is a, a remainder is being left out we can go by the pattern that the required number is going to be hcf of 1780 minus 4 that is first number minus 4 and another number minus 4 3988 minus 4 
okay because the, the, there is a remainder of 4 is left out every time so hcf can be found out by uh, subtracting uh, 4 from both the numbers and then finding out the hcf of the uh, found numbers so clearly we are supposed to find out the hcf of if we subtract 4 4 from each we are getting the getting to uh, find out the hcf of 1776 and 39 Eight, four. We have to find out the uh, HCF of these two. So let us do the prime factorization of 1776. If we do the 1776 prime factorization, 1776 cut by 2, it left out a triple 8, cut, cut it by again 2, left out 444, four, four. cut it by again 2, left out 222, two, two. cut it by again 2, left out 111. Now this 111 one, one cannot be cut by 2, so we have to cut it by 3, and then 37 is left out. These are the factors of 1776. Let us do the factors of 3984. Obviously, 3984 can be cut by 2. If we cut it by 2, the divisor, the, the quotient part is 1992. That can again be cut by 2. The quotient part is 996. Again, be cut by 2. Quotient part is 498. Again, be cut by 2. Quotient, quotient part is 249. Now, this 249 cannot be cut by 2. Okay, 249 is cannot be cut by 2. So, we have to cut it by 3. If we cut it by 3, then we are left out with 83. So, 83 and 37 are both prime numbers. So, these are the factors only. Now, we have to find out the greatest common factors. Okay, look at that. This 2, 2 is common. This 2, 2 is again common. 2, 2 again common. And this 3, 3 is common. So, these are the highest common factor. 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. That's what is the highest common factor. How much is this? 2, 2 is 4, 2 is 8, 3 is 20. Uh, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 8, 3 to the 24, and there should be another 2 coming, right? 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. There would be uh, one more 2 in the first case, 2, 2, 2, 2. And the 2, so there will be 4 times the, these 2 available. Okay, 4 times these 2 available. And then into two, 3, that is nothing but 2 to the 4, 2 to the 8, 2 to the 16, 3 to the 48. So the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor of these 3 numbers is nothing but going to be 48, which is available in option number D and becomes the right answer for us. Now, what he's asking for, find the greatest number of your digits of four digits, which when divided by four, six and 12, leaves the remainder of three in each case. We have done uh, this type of question earlier also. For this thing, we need to know what we are just supposed to find out the greatest four number is that four, divisible by four, six, 12. We need to find out the, this is a special case. We need to find out the LCM of all the divisors that is four, six and 12. And after doing that, we need to add 3 to this. Okay, these type of questions have come earlier also, where there is a remainder of 3 is left out. So, whatever is the remainder to be left out, that should be added to the ultimate LCM of all the divisors. Okay, and this is to be checked for 4 digit. So, we'll keep on having an eye over that. Okay, so first of all, we'll find out the LCM of 4, 6 and 12. Okay, it can be orally also understood, but if, if, if required, we can solve this also. So, we're supposed to find out the LCM. So, we can uh, go by 2. So, this is 2, 2, 4, 2, 3, 6, 2, 6, 12. We can again go by 2. It's 1, it's 3, it's 3. So, we can go by 3. It's going to be 1, 1, and 1. So, 4, 6, 12 LCM is nothing but 12 itself. Okay. So, LCM is 12. So, we have to go like 12K plus 3. We have to go like 12K plus 3. And we are supposed to find out whenever we are reaching, when are we reaching the number as 4 digit. So, 12K plus 3 is the pattern. So, okay. So, if we go for k equal to 1, if we go for k equal to 1, the first number comes is 12 into 1, 12 plus 3 is 15. That is nowhere 4 digit. Then we can have k equal to 2. That will give me 15, 12 into 2, that is 24 plus 3, that is 27. That is also not 4 digit number. k equal to 3, 12, 3 is 36 plus 3, that is also, that is 39. That is also not 4 digit number. So, we have to keep going like that. Okay, if we keep going like that by incrementing the k value 1, 2, 3, 4, so we can have to have a blind guess. And if we do that, we are getting the multiple of 4 only when the 12k is becoming 9996 plus 3, that is 9999. So that is the greatest 4 digit number that is divisible by 12. Whenever divisible by 4, leaves a remainder of 3 in each case. So the right answer is 4 times 9, that is 9999 available in option number B and becomes the right answer for us. Okay, so the question says HCF and LCM of two numbers are 50 and 250 respectively. Okay, on dividing one of these numbers by two, 50 is obtained. So let us talk about this number. There is a number who is getting divided by two. So uh, we are getting the 50 as a result. So obviously that number should be 
whenever that number is divided by 2, we are getting the result as 50. That means the number is nothing but 50 into 2, that is 100. So that number is 100. So one number is already achieve, achieved, that is 100. Let us assume the other number. Let the other number is, let us assume the other number is X. So these are the two numbers with us, X and 100. He says the HCF of them is 50 and LCM is 250. So we have a simple formula. Formula is product of two numbers is equal to product of their HCF and LCM. So let us use this. So we have numbers as X and 100. Their product will be equal to product of their HCF that is 50 into LCM that is 250. So we need to solve the equation for X. So we can solve it like this. We can cut down these numbers. 50 can cut the complete 100 by 2. This 2 can cut this 250 by 125. So X comes out to be 125. What he has asked for? He has asked for the numbers are. So one number is 125. Other number we had already obtained earlier. That was 100. So numbers are 100 and 125. Which is available in option number A. And becomes the right answer. Okay. Let's go to the next question. Now, the sum of two numbers is 216 and their HCF is 27. That's what they say. Sum of two numbers is 216 and their HCF is uh, 27. These numbers are. That's what we are supposed to solve. Okay, let us do it. Okay, as they say, the sum of two numbers is 216. So, let us write, let the numbers are X and Y first. Let the numbers are X and Y. So, they say x plus y is 216. Okay. As he said, the sum of two numbers is 216. So, we have taken x plus y as 216. Okay. Now, let us take on one more thing. The, the next thing that he has said is, he has said is the HCF is 27. Okay. The HCF value of these two numbers is HCF of x and y he has said is 27. Okay, so clearly that when the HCF becomes 27, then obviously those two numbers will be multiple of HCF only that is multiple of 27 only okay so let us just use this fact so the numbers can be in the range in the range of multiples of 27 okay x plus y is going to be the multiple of 27 this is what we're going to use to solve this particular question okay whenever the two <clears throat> i'd say is nothing but the highest common factor so when there is a highest common factor involved then obviously that has to be a factor so the both the numbers should be multiple of that number only so we can clearly say the both the numbers are multiple of 27 only so let us see which are those numbers are there which are multiple of 27. We can have 27 into 1, 27 into 2, 27 into 3 and like that. Okay, all those numbers should be multiple of 27. What we have to do, we have to find out those two numbers whose sum is becoming 216 and they should be multiple of 27 as well. So this has to be done by trial and error only. Okay, we have to keep trying any combination of two such numbers which are multiple of 27 and making it the sum to be 216 also. So by hit and trial, we can guess it that 227 into 3, that is 81. And at the same time, 27 into 5, that is 135. These can be the two numbers, 135 and 81 are the only two numbers possible who are giving you the sum of 216 also. And they are multiple of 27 also. So that's what we have. So we, we could do this by option hitting also. We could have the option in the place. So clearly 60 and 90 would not have been the answer because they are not the multiple of 27. 64 and 128 again are not the multiple of 27. 30 and 84 are again not the multiple of 27. So we could have clearly gone by the option number B which says 81 and 135 are the two such numbers that we were looking for. Okay, let's have next one. HCF of 72 and 18 is, this is going to be easy. For finding out the HCF, we're supposed to uh, do the factorization. If we factorize 72, it can be divided by 2. 2 first, which gives 36. 36 again divided by 2, which gives us 18. 18 again divided by 2, which gives us 9. 9 is divided by 3, which gives us 3. And 3 is divided by 3, that which gives us 1. So these are the factors of 72. Let us find out the factors of 18 at the same time. 18 is first divided by 2, gives us 9. 9 is divided by 3, gives us 3. 3 is divided by 3 again, which gives us 1. So these are the two factors. We are supposed to find highest common factor. So let us have the common factors pair. First pair is this. So this will give us a 2 into. Then anything else that we can have common? Yes, we can have common as 3 into 3. Okay, so we can have a 3 here. Can we have anything else common? Yes, we have this 3 and 3 also common. So we can have, we can write one of the three for here. So the HCF becomes, HCF uh, simply becomes 2 into 3 into 3. That is nothing but your 18 only. So HCF of 18 and 72 is nothing but 18 only, which is available in option number C. This is the right answer. 
Okay. Three bells ring simultaneously at 9 a.m. They ring at regular intervals of 40 seconds, 42 seconds, and 48 seconds, respectively. The next time when all the three bells rang together is. So, the next time will be the least common time of these 40, 42, and 48 seconds. So, in this type of situation, we are supposed to find out the least common multiple of the time given. So, the first time is 40, another is 42, 48. Let us try to find out the LCM. Okay, LCM of 42, rather 40, 42, and 48. We are supposed to find out. We can quick, quickly do that. We have a method of finding out the LCM, 40, 42, and 48. Okay, all those numbers are getting cut by 2. So, we can cut them by 2. It's going to be 20. It's going to be 21. It's going to be 24. So, again, we can divide it by 2. So, it will give us 10. 21 will not be cut. So, it will be as it is. 24 will be become 12. We can again cut it by 2. So, it will become 5. It will remain as it is 21. It will become 6. We can again get by, cut it by 2. So, it will remain 5. It will remain 21. It will become 3. We can now cut it by 3. So, it will remain 5. It will become 7. It will become 1. Clearly, we can add. So, the numbers are achieved. 2, 2, 2, 2, 4 times 3, 5 and 7. Okay. So, these are the, the numbers which we have to multiply to get the LCM. If we multiply them, so the LCM comes out to be, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 times 2. So, 2 to the power 4 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 7. So, this is going to be the LCM. Okay, if we product them all, then what is the LCM value we are achieving? We are achieving the LCM value as 1680. And obviously, this will be into seconds. So, we can easily convert this second into minutes. How we can convert that? By dividing it by 60. So, if we dividing it, divide it by 60, we're going to get 1680 divided by 60. Because one minute has got 60 seconds. So, how many minutes are there in 1680 seconds? We have to divide it by 60. And which is coming out to be 28 minutes. So, 28 minutes after 9 a.m., they will be again ringing together. So, that will obviously be the time of 9.28 a.m. and it has become the right answer for us. Okay. Now, what says the next question? Find the LCM of x to the power 5 y square z1, v square w1 x4 and u, u into v into w square. We have to find out the LCM of these. In these type of situations, what we can do is we are supposed to find out the highest power of all the variables that are associated and just keep on writing them one by one. Okay. So, let us begin with x. x has got a power of 5 here x and another x has got a power of 4. So, the highest among 5 and 4 is 5. So, the LCM starts with x to the power 5 because there is the highest power of x available. Next variable is y. y has got a power of 2 here and then y is not appearing anywhere else. So, we will just have to take y square as it is. Okay. Now, next variable is z. z has got a power of 1 here and then that is not appearing anywhere. So, we can just write z to the power 1 into. Next variable is v. v has got a power of 2 and v is appearing one more time. That is power is 1. So, highest among square and 1 is obviously square. So, we're going to write down here as v square into. Next variable is w. w's power is 1 and w's power is 2 also available. So, we will go by the highest powers which is 2. So, it will be w square here into. Next variable is x. We have already taken u is still left out. So, we can write u to power 1 that is appearing only one time. So, this becoming, this is, this is will become the LCM of all these three brackets phrases. So, let us find out which particular option is giving this. So, there is no such option giving this because there are different, different powers and different, different uh, values. So, obviously, the answer is none of these. This is going to be the right answer and which is not available in the, any of the available options. So, it will be none of these as the right answer for us. Okay, let's have next one. Find the number that when divided by 8, 15, 54, leaves the remainder 5, 12, 51 respectively. Okay, the number when divided by 8, 15 and 54, the remainder should be 5, 12 and 51 respectively. So clearly there is a pattern being seen. If you see between 8 and 5, there is a difference of 3. If you see between 15 and 12, there is a difference of 3 again. If you see between 54 and 51, there is again a difference of 3. So, whenever you see such kind of pattern in which the divisor and the remainder have a common difference, okay. So, in that situation, we can have a direct uh, formula for finding out the required number. The required number will be in the such situation, it will be LCM of all the divisors, okay. The divisors available are the number which, which with which we are dividing. So, the number is getting divided by 8, 15 and 54. So, 8, 15, 54 are nothing but the divisors. So, in these type of situation, the formula becomes LCM of divisors 
minus the common difference. That is the formula LCM of divisors minus the common difference. The common difference in this case is 3. So let us just keep on writing that LCM of the divisors are 8, 15 and 54 minus the common difference. The common difference is 3. So we are supposed to find out the LCM of 8, 15 and 54 first. Let us do it here. 8, 15 and 54. Okay. Let us try to cut these numbers. This first of all, it can be cut by 2. So 2, 4, 8, 15 and 2 into 27. Again, we can cut it by 2. So 2, 2, 4, 15 as it is, 27 as it is. We can again cut it by 2. So 1, 15 and 27 remains. We can go by 3. So if we go by 3, it's with still 1. 3, 5, 15, 3, 9, 27. We can again go by 3. So 3, 1, 3, 5 remains as it is, 3, 3, 9. Again, we can go by 3. If you go by 3, it's going to be 1, 5 and 1. So clearly the LCM is going to be 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3 times 2. So it is going to be, LCM is going to be uh, 2 cube into 3 is appearing 3 times into 5 is appearing 1 time. Okay, minus 3. So how much is this? 8 into 27 into 5. That's what it is appearing. So the LCM comes out to be 1080. And then we have to subtract minus 3 from it. So we're going to get the final answer as 1077. 1077. That is going to be the right answer as required and which is available in option number D becomes the right answer for us. Okay. Find the possible number of pairs of two numbers whose LCM is 120 and HCF is 10. Okay. This is what is the condition given. So let us assume the numbers. Let the numbers are and as discussed in the earlier questions also the numbers should be multiple of num the two numbers whose HCF is all already given. The numbers are clearly the multiples of their HCF only. Numbers are always the multiples of their HCF only. So we can assume the numbers like the first number is 10x and another number is 10y. Why we have taken them in form of 10? Because their HCF is 10. So the, the numbers are always multiple of 10 only, multiple of HCF only. That's why we have taken the numbers as 10x and 10y. Okay. Then he says, uh, the LCM is 120. We have a formula which says product of the numbers is equal to HCF into LCM. Let's bring this formula in the C. So the numbers are 10x into 10y. That is the product is equal to HCF is available as 10. LCM is available as 120. Okay. So this is what the equation comes out. So if we cut these down, these numbers, we are reaching to a value XY is equal to 120. We are reaching to a value x, y is equal to 120. Now, he has asked us to find out the possible number of pairs. So, we have to find out the possible number of uh, x and y so such that their product becomes 120. So, this for this particular case, we have to keep guessing. Rather, x, x y is becoming 12, not 120. x, y is becoming 12. So, we have to keep guessing x, y is equal to 12. How many such pairs are there which are, make, which are making the product as 12? So, let us find out. So, one such pair can be 1 and 12. Another such pair can be 2 and 6. Another such pair can be 3 and 4 and that's it. So these are the three pairs in which the product is becoming 12. So if let us take the first pair as 1 and 12. If we take the first pair as 1 and 12, our numbers were 10x and 10y. So the numbers with 1 and 12 will be 10 and 120. Okay. And 10 and 120 are clearly satisfying your condition because the LCM of 10 and 120 is 120 itself and their HCF is 10 itself. So this is taken. So let us count this as 1. If you take the second pair that is 2 and 6, the numbers will become as 20 and 60. Number will become as 20 and 60. But the 20 and 60 has got a problem that their HCF might be, uh, uh, the, their HCF is not 10, their HCF is 20. And their LCM is also not 120. Their LCM is just 60. So this pair is not counted. Okay. So this very pair is not counted because this is not fulfilling our condition. Let's have the third pair, which is 3 and 4. With 3 and 4, the numbers will be 30 and 40. Let us talk about 30 and 40. Their LCM is going to be 120. That is very satisfying. What about their HCF? Their HCF is again going to be 10 only. So this is also taken. So this is the second such pair which is meeting our condition. So clearly we have got our answer that there are only two such pairs possible which have their LCM as 120 and HCF as 10. That is 1 and 2. That is 10 and 120 and 13 40. So option C seems to be the right answer which says there are two number of such pairs available. Now, find the least three-digit number which when divided by 5 and 11 leaves the remainder 3 and 6 respectively. Okay. So, number when divided by 5 leaves a remainder of 3 and the same number when divided by 11 leaves a remainder of 6. 
in this type of questions we go by one by one so we'll we'll take for the case of five okay we are searching for a number which is divided by five whenever the which, which is divided by five it leaves a remainder of three so if you want to know such numbers which are when divided by five and leaves a remainder three the smallest of such number is eight okay if you divide it divided eight by five obviously the remainder of three will appear the next number in the same class will be 13 5 2 ja 10 and then 3 will be remainder next number in the same class will be 18 5 3 ja 15 then 3 will be remainder and so on we can keep on counting such numbers as 23 28 33 and so on so all these numbers are meeting the first condition now the number should not just meet the this condition the number should meet the other condition as well which says the number when divided by 11 should leave a remainder of 6 as they say so let us check for which is, which is the smallest of such numbers which when divided by 11 will be leaving a remainder of 6 for us. And if we check 1 by 1, it's going to be 28 that number. Okay. If you divide 11 by 28, we're going to have the 6 as remainder because 11 to 22 only. Okay. So 28 is that number. So 28 is that common number, which is, which is, which is, uh, 28 is that least number. Uh, which is meeting both the condition that 5 divided by 5 gives a remainder 3 and divided by 11 gives a remainder 6. So if he had asked for just the least number, the answer would have been 28. But he has not asked for the least number. He has asked for rather a number, a three-digit three digit least number. So in this case, we can frame out a formula that the required number is nothing but LCM of the divisors, that is 5 and 11. Multi and and let, us, let us have a multiply by K for it. And LCM of 5, 5 into 11 into K plus the common least number that is 28. Common least LCM that is 28. So this becomes the formula for the required number. LCM of the common divisors 5 and 11 multiplied by K where K varies as 1, 2, 3 and 4. And we'll keep on varying K till the time we receive the least three digit number. So let us start. If we have K as 1. What is the first number we are getting for k equal to 1? The first number we are getting LCM of 5 and 11. So let us find out LCM of 5 and 11. Okay, there is no number which can cut 5 and 11. So LCM of 5 and 11 will be nothing but 5 into 11 only. That is 55. So we are clear to look, to look for multiples of 55 plus 28, which, which will be the least digit number. If we take k as 1, so the first number becomes 55 into 1 plus 28. Okay, 55 into 1 plus 28 is becoming 83 and clearly it is not a three digit number so we have to increment k as 2 if we increment k as 2 it will be 55 into 2 plus 28 which will give us 138 okay and 138 is that number which is least three digit number okay so the answer should be clearly 138 okay so the right answer is 138 this could also be done if we would have just checked for the options we would have gone for 128 and divided by 5 and 11 and check for the condition and one by one we could have done tried all the options but this is just a method okay the real method the real mathematics is available on the right side which is giving the answer as 138 again so is the right answer okay the ratio of two numbers is 5 is to 6 and their lcm is 480 their hcf is Okay, they say the ratio of two numbers is five and six. Their LCM is 480, their HCF is. So we we'll have to assume in this, this case the HCF. So let us assume the HCF as HCF equal to X. Clearly mentioned that uh, the numbers are always the product of their LCF only. So in this case, we can assume the numbers. So the numbers are 5X and 6X. So these are the two numbers that have been achieved. Now we can make use the formula which says product of the numbers is always equal to HCF into LCM. Product of numbers is HCF into LCM. So product of number will be 5x into 6x will be HCF is x into LCM is given in the question as 480. So this is what is the thing that we get. We can cut down these numbers. x can cut this. So we remain with 30x is equal to 480 which gives us x value as 16 which gives us x value as 16. That's what they had asked for. Their HCF is and x, HCF we assume to be x. So HCF becomes 16 and becomes the right answer for us. Option B. Okay. The smallest number which when subtracted by 7 is divisible by 12, 16, 18 and 21 and 28 is. So that number which when subtracted by 7. Okay. So whenever the, that number is subtracted by 7, it will be become the it will be become the it will become the multiple of it will become multiple of all these divisors given so obviously this number which we are looking for should be the lcm plus 7 okay 
because whenever that number will be subtracted by 7, it will become a clear multiple of all these divisors. So obviously that number should be the LCM of them and plus 7. So the required number is LCM of all these divisors that is 12, 16, 18, 21 and 28 and plus the 7. Okay, if we do that, we can have uh, the LCM, we can find out the LCM of 12, 16, 18, 21 and 28. Let us find out the LCM. We can divide it by 2 first. 2, 6, 2, 8, 2, 9, 21 as it is. 2 into 14. Again divided by 2. 2, 3, 2, 4, 9 as it is. 21 as it is. 2, 7. Again divided by 2. 2, 3, 2, 2, 2, 9, 2, 21, 7. Again divided by 2. So we can cut down the number. 3, 1, 9, 21 and 7. Let us divide it by 3 now. So if we divide by 3, it becomes 1, 1, 3, 3, 9, 3, 7, and 7. Again, divide by 3, it becomes 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 1, 7, and 7. So then you go for 7, then all these will become just 1. If you go for 7, then all these will become just 1. So the product of these this series is nothing but the LCM. And this is going to be 2, 2, 4, 2, 8, 2, 16, 3, 48, 48 into 3, 7, 21. So LCM is clearly. LCM is clearly 48 into 21, which is nothing but the LCM becomes 1008. So if you put this value in this particular thing, so the required number is nothing but 1008 plus 7, which is nothing but 1015. So that is the required number we were looking for. That is the right answer available in option number C. Let's have next 36. The HCF and LCM of two numbers is 12 and 360 respectively. Find the possible pair of such numbers. So we have to find the possible pair of such numbers. Okay. Clearly the numbers are going to be the product of their HCF. Okay. The HCF is given as 12. So we can assume the numbers like let the numbers are. Let the numbers are product of HCF always. HCF is 12. So numbers are 12x and 12y. We assume the number to be 12x and 12y. Okay. Then he says the, uh, the LCM is 360. So we can use that formula of, of ours which says product of numbers is equal to HCF into LCM. So let us have the product of number 12x into 12y is equal to HCF is x. HCF is 12 rather. HCF is 12 into LCM is 360. Okay. So let us cut down these numbers and we can receive something. Okay. Obviously this 12 cuts this 12. This 12 can cut this 360 by 30. So we remain out with x y is equal to 30. Now we have to find such possible pairs which are making x y as 30. So let us begin with 1. We can have 1 and 30 as x and y which will make the product as 30. We can have 2 and 15 which will make the product as 30. We can have 3 and 10 which will make the product as 30. We can also have 5 and 6 which will make the product as 30. So these are the possible pairs which are possible there. So how many such pairs have come? There comes 4 such pairs. So the right answer is option number D. 4. Let's go for the next one. Find the smallest number which when decreased by 13 is perfectly divisible by 8, 24 and 32. Which when decreased by 13 is perfectly divisible by 8, 24 and 32. So clearly, so the, the perfect LCM of 8, 24 and 32, if we add 13 to it, then that number can be found out because the number has to be first reduced by 13 to make it a multiple of 8, 24 and 32. So clearly the least common multiple of 8, 24 and 32. And if we add 13 to it, we will receive, we will reach to that number which is looking for. So the, the equation simply becomes LCM of 8, 24 and 32. And if we add plus 13 to it, then we are receiving our required number because from the required number, he has to subtract 13. Then there, the number should be completely divisible by all three. The completely divisible by all three means LCM of all three. So this is what the required chain. So let us quickly find out the LCM of 8, 24 and 32. Okay. Let us cut it by 2, all the numbers. So 2, 4, ja, 2 into 12 is 24, 2, 16. Again cut by 2, 2, 2, ja, 2, 6, ja, and 2, 8. Ja. Again cut it by 2, 2, 1, ja, 2, 3, ja, 2, 4. Ja, and again cut by 2, so 1, 3 and 2. Okay, then you can again cut by 2, 1, 3, 1, and then by 3. So it will become 1, 1, and 1. So the, clearly the LCM is coming out to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times 2, so that is 2 to the power 5 into 3. Okay, which is nothing but 96. Okay, 
So it is becoming like 96 plus 13 and 96 plus 13 is nothing but 109. So that is the required number. Clearly, when 109 will be subtracted by 13, you will reach to 96 and 96 will be clear divisible by all of them. So the answer is correct. Uh, available in option number C. 38. The least perfect square number which is completely divisible by 10, 20, 30 and 40. Okay, it has to be completely divisible by all of them numbers. So obviously we have to find out the least common multiple. Let us try to find out the LCM of the numbers given that is 10, 20, 30 and 40. If we do that, we'll have to do it the basic method 10, 20, 30 and 40. Let us try to find out the LCM. Cut it by 2, 10, 15 and 20. Again, cut it by 2. It's 5, it's 5, it's 15 and it's 10. We can again cut it by 2. So it's 5, 5. 15 and 5. Now we cannot cut it by 2. We can cut it by 3 rather. So it's 5, it's 5, it's 5 and it's 5 again. Then we can cut it by 5. So we're going to get 1, 1, 1 and 1. So the, the LCM is coming as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. This is what is the LCM coming. But he has asked for the number has to be perfect square. The number can be perfect square only when you have a, when you have the complete pairs of all these numbers okay there should be a set of two 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 for all so we are getting we are getting a complete pair of two into two two here but we are not getting the other half of this two other half of this three and other half of this five okay then only the number can be a perfect square when there are complete pairs possible okay there is only one complete pair being possible this two is left out alone this three is left out alone this five is also left out alone so we have to find their but they, we have to find them one more time, then only the pair will be completed. So we'll have to multiply this whole thing by to make a complete perfect square. We have to for, for making the pair of this two, we'll have to multiply the number by two. For making the pair of this three, we have to multiply it by three. For making the pair of this five, we have to multiply it by five again. So this whole product is actually the perfect square that you are looking for. If you multiply it together, so it is going to be clearly two square. Then again a 2 square complete pairs. Then again a 3 square complete pair. And again a 5 square complete pair. Okay. If we solve this, if we find out the product, the product is finally coming out to be, the product is finally is coming out to be 3600. Okay. So that is going to be the right answer, which is meeting the condition. Answer is 3600. Okay, so question number 39 says the greatest number of four digits which is divisible by 15, 25, 40 and 75 is. Okay, so clearly we are first of all we are looking for such a number who is divisible by all these numbers that is 15, 25, 40 and 75. Okay, so basically we are looking for a number which is divisible by all these numbers and such a number is always the least common multiple. Okay, the number which is divisible by all three is has to be a common multiple and we'll look for the least common multiple first. That means we will be looking for the LCM of these numbers. So first of all, we have to find out LCM of 15, 25, 40 and 75. Okay, for that we have a simple method. Let us follow 15, 25, 40 and 75. These numbers least common multiple is to be found out. Let us start dividing them by the smallest prime number that is 2. Okay, 15 is not divisible, 25 is not divisible, 40 is divisible by 20, 75. Then we can again divide it by 2. So that is 15 again, 25 again as it is copied, 20 is divided as 10, 75 as it is copied. Again, we can divide it by 2, 15 remain as it is, 25 remain as it is. This 10 becomes 5 and then 75. Now clearly none of the number is now divisible by 2. So we have to divide it by this again the next prime number that is 3. If we divide it by 3, it becomes 3, 5 is 15, 25 will not be divisible, 5 will not be divisible, 75, 25 times of 3 is 75, we can again go by 3, no, we cannot go by 3 because none of these numbers left out is divisible by 3, so we'll have to go by 5 now. Okay, so 5 and 5, 5, 5 and 25, 5 and 5 and 5, 5 and 25, we have to go again by 5 so that everything becomes just one like that. Okay, so the LCM of these number is coming out to be simply 2 to the power 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 square multiplied by 5 square. If I product these number, this is going to be 8, 3, 24 into 25. That is nothing but 600. So clearly the LCM of all these numbers is 600. But in the question we were looking for greatest number of four digits, which is divisible by all three. 
we know 600 is the smallest number which is divisible by all all of them but we are to we are supposed to find out the greatest number of four digits for that case we'll first of all analyze what is the greatest four digit number that is nothing but 9999 this is the greatest four digit number but we have to so actually we have to find the least common multiple is 600 so the multiple of 600 closes to four times nine Okay, we have to find out multiple of 600 that is closest to 9999 because that will be the required number that we are looking for, the greatest number of four digits, which is divisible by all those four. Okay, so multiple of 600, all of them are divisible by all these divisors. So multiple of 600 that is closest to 9999 will be our answer. So to find out that, what we can do is we can divide this 9999 by 600. Okay, we can divide this 999 by 600. If we divide this 9999 by 600, we get the remainder value that is not divisible is 399. We get the remainder value as 399. So that means what is the closest multiple of 600 to the greatest four digit number? That can be found out by subtracting, three, subtracting 9999 minus 399 and which gives us 9600 so 9600 is that greatest four digit number that is not only divisible by all of these divisor but is the required answer as well so it is available in option number b 9600 becomes the right answer now the lcm of 2 cube 3 square 5 into 11 and 2 4 3 4 5 square into 7 and the this is so we have to find out the lcm of all these in such situation when the numbers are given like that the single numbers are not given what we are supposed to do we will have to find out each prime factors highest power okay we'll pick out of these two e out of these three the highest the the highest power of the prime factor so let us begin with the very small prime factor the smallest prime number is 2 and this 2 is available in all of these three so we'll start with 2 first find finding out the lcm we'll start with 2 first which out of them has got the highest power of 2 that what that's what we will check which out, out of them has got the highest power of 2 is 2 to the power of 5 so we'll take it here as 2 to the power 5 into now we'll move to the next prime factor next prime factor is nothing but 3 what is the highest power of 3 available in all these 3? First has got 3 square, another has got 3 power 4. The next one has got 3 to power 3. So the highest power clearly is 3 to power 4. So we'll take 3 to power 4 into the next prime factor. Higher prime factor is nothing but 5. Which has got the 5's highest power is 1, is 2, is 3. So 5's highest power is 3. So 5 to power 3 will be taken up into. What is the next prime factor is 7. Which has got the highest power of 7. Here is 7 square. Here is just 7. Here is nothing. So it's going to be 7 square. Then the next prime factor is 11. Who has got the highest power of 11? Highest power of 11 is just 1. So we'll take it like that. So this particular number, this particular expression has become the LCM of all these numbers. Which option is containing this? This option is contained by option number C. So it becomes the right answer for us.